before you decide to go into an accelerated program, these are some things you need to understand. If you, you might not get paid today, but you are hungry today. NCLEX books. What do you need that NCLEX book for? And you won't graduate for another year and a half, two years? I want you to know that girl you got. Y'all, welcome back to your girl channel. It is officially one week until I start nursing school. Y'all, I'm so excited. I know y'all excited if y'all watching this and y'all going to nursing school or y'all in nursing school. I know y'all feel the same way. That y'all are excited y'all going to nursing school or y'all excited about, you know, getting a process going to get into nursing school. Y'all. So, um, I'm currently... Um, just cleaning up a little bit, getting the house ready for me to go back to school. Like I just feel like I have to do a deep, thorough cleaning. I honestly never finished packing, uh, unpacking when I moved here in September. It is damn, it is damn, um, January and I still had a few bags with like just stuff in it. So I just unpacked some of that stuff. I'm cleaning up one of my closets. I have to clean up my room closet. Like I have this, my second room closet, which is the closet with all of my clothes in it. My other closet, it honestly has quite a bit of things just on the fucking floor. Like boxes, a box is in there that I have not unpacked yet that has some of my like, like home decor stuff. Like, honestly just stuff that where I had my dresser in my room and I just had extra stuff all around on the dressers I have a whole bunch of paintings that I have not put up yet um now that I'm no longer going to be working from home well I don't think that I'm gonna be working from home um I'll find that out for sure tomorrow and I'll let y'all know but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be working from home y'all I'm literally going into nursing school and I don't know what I'm about to be doing to pay these bills okay like I don't know all I know is I have only fans and that's it <laughs> like that's the only income I know for sure I will have in February outside of that I really don't know I know I will end up getting the agency CNA job at minimum all right y'all sorry for that interruption but anyway like I was saying I'm pretty much just winging it honestly um I know that becoming a nurse has been a really really long time goal of mine that I have not accomplished yet but I will be accomplishing it now you know the first step was getting accepted now that I'm accepted honey I am going to get through nursing school and I'm not letting nothing stop me I know God got me and I have faith that everything is going to work out you know, I've been crying and crying and crying these past few days because a lot of things have not been going how I plan. But I know they say, you know, when you make a plan, God laughing at you because that plan ain't his plan. OK, so y'all, I'm just taking it one day at a time now. Um, I've got I have a good support system like between boyfriend, my mom, my sister, like, you know, my other family members, my cousin, D'Angela, like. I have a really good support system so I know like you know I won't fail you know it's always important to have a good support system when you're going through stuff like this like don't wait y'all I'm 28 and I've waited long enough do not wait if y'all younger take advantage of all that you have as far as FAFSA take advantage of all of that and you know don't just be trying to get the money because you know you need the money now you want to live these lifestyles that these influencers are living like that was me like I'm big on YouTube I love I'm not big like my channel but I'm big on watching vloggers and all of that I love 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 watching vloggers like and I really watch a lot of older vloggers I don't really like watch a lot of younger vloggers but like the older vloggers I watch they influence that's their job and a lot of things that they influence are like you know designer stuff stuff like that and it's like I wanted all of that stuff like I wanted to have my Mercedes I wanted to have have a nice ass apartment nice ass home and all of that that's all good and well but like I should have went to school and focused on school and then like put you know 
got all of those things, you know, but now I'm damn 28 going back to school and it ain't nothing wrong with it because people older than me go back to school. But like, I could have been, you know, in my career by now and I'm not. So I don't regret anything that I've done or anything I went through, but I do wish that I would have went to school. Went, well, I have went to school. Like, I just haven't been in the last five years. So I wish that I would have went right into school, like, when I wanted to go back to school for nursing. But anyway, yeah, so I'll give y'all all the updates on that. We are orientation this week um, on Wednesday. I have, Wednesday I have my orientation for nursing, the nursing program. Then I have my school orientation on Friday. I'm going to try to take y'all with me. I'm not going to record with my camera in there. I definitely will have my phone and hopefully I will be able to like have enough confidence to go ahead and just record a few things for y'all while I'm in there. Y'all know I'm like on smaller groups, baby. I don't like recording, but it's like when I have like a, a lot of people around, I'm okay. But I'm, I don't like recording when it's just like a group of 20 people. Like, I don't like, I don't like recording like that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to try to record for y'all. Try to do my best. I definitely am going to go over everything with y'all from the orientations, especially the nursing orientation mainly. Um, I have an eye doctor appointment. And then I also have to go shopping for my school supplies and get me some sh shoes as well. So I'll take y'all with me on those. I have my last class of CNA class. I was not able to record for y'all. And I know last vlog I said that I was, if I have that in there. I know I really wanted to record for y'all, but um, some she thought somebody was recording and she was like, please don't record me. Like, and I understand, like, I'm not about to be posting, you know, what, I, what I'm doing, you know, when motherfuckers need to come and pay for it, pretty much. <laughs> like, so I, I don't, like, so I did not record my CNA process. Um, yeah, it really wasn't nothing to record. And maybe it's because this is, like, my second or third time going through this. So I really, like, <laughs> but, yeah um what else that's all that we got planned for this vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and just shut up i just wanted to give y'all a rundown of updates and stuff like that um but yeah i will catch y'all later up, my people so i just um this is my first time picking up the camera but i did just probably hopefully i inserted a clip of me going to breakfast with boyfriend we went to flying biscuit it was pretty good i still he wanted me to try they um grits he claimed they was better than midnight diner and if you live in charlotte or if you've ever been you know midnight diner has some smacking ass fucking grits like them shits is good as fuck okay to say the very least but yeah they was not they they not hitting on motherfucking midnight diner i still I forgot to tell him that, but yeah, they're not hitting on midnight. No, but they were good. They were definitely really good um, grits, but <clears throat> midnight diners are better. Um, something about midnight diner, baby. I know my eyebrow probably look crazy, but anyway, y'all. So it's nursing school orientation day. So my orientation starts at one. Y'all, I keep having to go to that text and email to make sure it's at one because I'm just like, for some reason, in my head is 12. And it's only because I have a school orientation to go to as well, which is on Friday. Um, Come on now, Joe. Come on now, Joe. <laughs> now, I know we barely got something in here. Shoot. I hate when this damn shit do this. But, um, yeah, the orientation for school is on Friday and it's from 8 to 12. So I keep checking to make sure that I'm not reading anything incorrectly. 
All right, y'all, so I'm ready to go. Makeup is done. I'll show y'all that probably in the car, but I'm just wearing some sneakers, some sneakers, some Fashion Nova jeans, um, this jacket that I got from this store in the mall called Edge, and then I got a um, mock turtleneck shirt on with my necklace. I'm not gonna wear any earrings because the earrings I have, y'all, I would have to put eraser backs on them, child, and I ain't got time for that, and I don't know where my hoops are, so yeah. This is the fit. Check the booty. Check. I'm about to fall and shit, but let's go because I'm uh, running a few minutes late. Hey, y'all. Still in an orientation. Just wanted to give y'all a quick update because I can't record in there. But I look cute with my glasses, right? These are my old ones. I can't see. what's up y'all so i'm back from my orientation and i wanted to give y'all a rundown since i couldn't record also throughout the program i'm not gonna be able to record y'all so they went over that piece of information that we cannot record anything at all now i've heard um from some other youtubers how they can't record like the um lectures and stuff like that but no, I can't record anything. I'll call her right back. But I can't record anything. So if I'm able to, I will. Like if I'm able to just show y'all certain things. But it may not be a lot of things that I'm gonna be able to record. But I'm definitely gonna give y'all rundowns each term and let y'all know what's going on. First couple of terms is not gonna be something new to me, baby, because I done been through AMP one already and I gotta take it again since it's been longer than five years and da 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 da. Like I'm so pissed about that, but we not even gonna do well. But anyway, so I want us to tell y'all about the um I just wanted to give y'all a few tips before you decide to go into an accelerated program. These are some things you need to understand. One is you need to understand, excuse Asher because he just crazy. I've been gone for a few hours, so he acting crazy. But anyway, going into one of these accelerated programs, whether it is ECPI, if you're going to ECPI, this is exactly how it's going to be. But if you're going to another accelerated program, just keep in mind that most likely these are similar things you're going to have to know to do and, you know, follow. But um, first things first, please do not go into one of these programs if you are not consistent, a consistent person. If you are not a person that can remain consistent on something, this is not for you. Because you do have to focus, you have to remain consistent, and you really need a good support system because your support system, that's where that consistency and, you know, remaining focus is going to come in at. Like, they're going to always remind you, you know, of your end goals, what you're trying to do, where, where you're trying to go. Those are, that's that support, that mental support that you need from your family, your friends, your significant others. Like, and I feel like I'm in a great place in my life right now. I have boyfriend. He is so supportive. Never been, never been with anyone else that has been as supportive as he is. Like, he is so supportive and i have to thank him for that tonight but anyway um my mom is supportive financially as well as um she's supportive just mentally as well um my mom and I, when i say financially i don't mean she paying my bills and all of that she's just supportive financially when it comes to she gave me a little bit on my um I have to pay some out of pocket and something I found out from a lot of the girls in the little group area that I was in, a lot of them girls are paying out of pocket. All of them actually, everyone has something to pay out of pocket. So just be aware that nine times out of 10, you're gonna have something to pay out of pocket. Even a girl that, cause I was thinking that it's probably cause we're older, we have a lot of money going out, but even the girl, a younger girl, she had to pay, um, out of pocket now if you're going on um like military benefits stuff like that most likely you're not gonna have to pay out of pocket but if you're like a single person you've been to school before you know you are already close to maxing out on those benefits you'll have to 
pay some out of pocket but that's another that's for another day but anyway so just make sure you have a good support system a good support team like you need that um you gotta remain consistent you from my program they will not allow you to miss any more than 20 percent of the term so one day could be mean you missing one day and this is per class but you missing one day out of that one class can put you at that 20 percent or missing one day she says sometimes with missing one clinical can put you over that 20 percent so you really cannot miss any school if you are a person that know that you don't go to work all the time like you steadily calling out this is not the program for you boo i'm sorry if you are that person who's steady on that call out line this is not a program for you an accelerated program is not for you just saying but um also with that if you come in late you could miss a whole quiz and those quizzes from what we are told we're told today are very important because if you miss all your quizzes, even if you have a 90 something percent in the class, you can still fail because you have to have an 80% for not only your um, unweighted, but your weighted um, grade has to be uh, above a, or 80% or higher. So that's another thing. You have to have higher grades with accelerated programs because the terms are so short. Um, Next would be for me, um, damn, and I was just thinking about it out in the car and I can't, like I said about me recording, I can't really have my phone out. Um, I damn sure can't be bringing no camera in there. So one thing I would say is if you're a person who always feel like you have to have your phone in your hands, this is not the program for you. It may even be like this in a regular nursing program at a community college, but from what I'm told, like when we have quizzes, of course, they're gonna, they're, they want you to leave your phone at the front. Like as soon as you come in, like leave your phone at the front. Um, and then I want to say she said in some classes, like all day, you have to like leave your phone at the front. Um, in clinicals, they don't want you to bring your phone at all, which is kind of a given. Like, I just feel like that's not that big of a deal. It's a given. Um, if you are... They want to make sure, you know, your uniform is clean and neat. Um, if it's not, you will be sent home. Um, and that's for clinicals. I, I'm sure it's, I don't know if it's for a class, but I don't really have a problem with that. I don't think many people will have a problem with that because that's just common knowledge. Um, it was a good orientation, I will say. Like, it took longer than expected, but it was good. They went over a lot of stuff. If I think of stuff that they went over, because they went over a lot of stuff. Um, we do have to wear white shoes. That's why I've been waiting to order my shoes. I need to go get on Amazon now because I have to order my shoes because I've been trying to like, I literally was going to order some white nursing shoes because they have to be vinyl or, hold on, did she say vinyl or vile? Vinyl. I think she said vinyl or leather. Child, the vinyl got to be an old ass word because I don't even know what that is. I'm assuming it's like a um, patent leather type thing. A pleather or something. I don't know. I probably just showed my age. <laughs> but, but yeah. So, it's going to be a lot. Oh, that's another thing I want to tell y'all. She said that for the most part, like for some classes, it may be that we have to teach ourselves pretty much. Like they are only given, she was going over one class where she was like, it's, it's only three hours in the class, but you got to go over 17 chapters. You're not going to be able to go over all of those chapters if you're only in a class for three, three, day, three hours a um, day. I mean, three hours a week. So that's another downfall. If you are not good at teaching yourself self-taught, self-teach, it's not for you. Now, I ain't gonna say I'm the best at self-teaching, but I've been through an accelerated program before. I'm a medical assistant. Well, I have my medical assistant. 
um, associates and medical assistant and I went through a accelerated program before. So I know how it's gonna go. Like, I don't know, of course, it's, it's definitely different from um, medical assistant to ADM. It's definitely different, but I have the concept. I know that I've went through it before, so I definitely can get through it again. I think that it's not going to be as hard as I'm thinking that it's going to be. I know nursing school is hard. Don't get me wrong. Like I definitely know it's definitely going to be harder than medical assistant school. But I think that the accelerated part of it is not going to bother me. I pray it's not going to bother me. But um, my first term, my classes are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I have four days off during the week to be able to work. So my plan is to get a CNA job, um, hopefully on the resource team. And then I can, she really ain't call me. Um, sorry, not, not about the job, but um, one of my team teammates. Um, <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, but um, yeah. So I plan to get a CNA job. Y'all know I, my last day of class is Saturday and then I pass the test on the 4th or 5th of February so I plan to do that I actually met a CNA that works for Atrium she works in, on um med surge so yeah I don't well I plan to float hopefully I, I pray that I'm able to get on this resource team because that's where the motherfucking dollars is at okay I ain't even gotta make no more than what I'm making if if at minimum I can make what I'm making I'm good do my three shifts a week then i'll have one day off a week i mean during the week for um just whatever like study school because she said you kind of need to allow yourself 25 hours a week outside of class or collectively one of the two but yeah that's the whole little rundown that was a lot of chitter chat but I just wanted to give y'all that update. Um, we also have 35 students in our class. For an accelerating, uh, accelerant school, that ain't good. We hoping that it's going to be split from, supposedly it's supposed to be split um, for our AMP. The other two classes that we have, because we just got AMP terminology and um, lab, which is all together. Um, we just have that that's going to be split. The other two is like an orientation class and a study group. Some bull, some, some BS, some, some basic stuff. So um, that won't be really a problem. But And then the teacher was like, because our teacher one of the teachers at least the main teacher she was saying that we're gonna have a quiz the first day on what on what <laughs> what are we having a quiz on girl so hopefully it's just something basic luckily i've been through a and p one and two before so hopefully it's something basic i literally have not been in it i didn't mind doing a and p over again like I did, but I didn't at the same time because I felt like it's something I definitely need a refresher on because it has been like six years. Has it been that long? It has been that long because that's one of the first tests you, I mean, one of the first classes you take. And I took that in like 2015, no, 20, 2016, 2017. I took that in the beginning of 2017, like yeah january of 2017 that's one of the first classes you always take for medical um for stuff in the medical field but anyway i will catch y'all later okay because i'm talking too much good morning my people it's your girl time and it's the next day <laughs> y'all i wanted to show y'all this why the hell do they have an order with 76 items for nine dollars And it's actually 88 items in total, but it's 77 different items. That's just crazy as hell, child. But anyway, I know I look like yesterday as far as I have the same shirt on. Yeah, I'm not changing it. I don't give a damn what y'all say. But anyway, so 
today I'm about to head to some stores real quick. This light is so ugly on here. But I gotta, um, <clears throat> I have to find some shoes for school. I gotta get some scrubs until my scrubs come in. Um, and then my school supplies. So I'm gonna take y'all with me and yeah so that'll probably be the whole video us just going to stores oh i got an orientation tomorrow so i'll give y'all an update on that about the school orientation even though that really don't matter to this channel we just talking nurse stuff nurse student stuff so but yeah i'm about to go ahead and finish getting ready i finished my hair last night so happy um because baby my hands were really cramping up this finger right here baby that finger was like this so i'm glad to be done with that but yeah i'm about to go ahead and finish getting ready and then we are gonna head out my fun lord i hope y'all ain't see that that was mad fucking embarrassing <sighs> y'all oh my butt hurt i got a cramp in my butt all right y'all so i'm going to sydney cindy's uniform shop or uniforms right here i am in like um randolph's i don't know off of randolph road child hello how are you i'm good i'm just here to get some shoes i called Earlier. Seven, the eight, the eight, right? Mm -hmm. eight yeah. And the white leather shoe, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I like these better. Yeah. It saves you a little bit of money, too. Oh, how much are these? They're 59. Oh, okay. Sorry, I vlogged. <laughs> no, it's fine. It takes a little more slimmer. And that was a little bit wider. But that is way appearance. I don't know how it feels. Yeah. No. I like these better. Okay. That was quicker than I thought. No, I did this thought for 20 this years. Was... I look at people's feet. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I... Oh. When I tell y'all, I was literally in there for like maybe a total of three minutes. Like, she literally got me right quick. Like, I called her to confirm if she had any white shoes. And she did. She had two different kind with, um, that in my size. So, she had one that was $80 and then the other one was $60. And... Um, I got the ones that were 60 because I like those better. Um, I don't think I showed y'all the other ones. I showed y'all the ones I got. Those, the other ones kind of had this like flop in the, or not flop, but, um, hold on. So the other ones had like this, um, you know how it's like has like vans how they have those the ones without laces they have those like v triangular part on each side where it kind of seems like it's like giving you more room at the top of your foot those are how the other ones were and i didn't like the style but i like the style of these they were they're lightweight they're not like clonks or clog type of they look like clogs but they're not heavy like clogs you know what i'm saying so um if you are in the charlotte area i definitely recommend you on to cindy uniforms um she has a few different white shoes like if you need white shoes for school or if you just need them for work whatever um and they were affordable $64 for a pair of those like and the ones on amazon that are sketcher these were um Cherokee they're made by Cherokee the ones for um 
sketch her on Amazon. I don't like buying stuff off of Amazon like that, like shoes, because it's like, for one, you never know how they're going to fit. And um, I needed them by Tuesday, and the ones um, on Amazon weren't going to come until Monday. But they were 60-something as well, 67, so they actually were more than these. So I would just advise, before you order on Amazon, just search around your local uniform stores. Call around, don't go. Just call and ask them if they have white shoes. I called one store, they didn't have white shoes. Called her first, actually, and I just checked with another store just because... But, um, yeah, I started to ask her how much they were on over the phone, but I was just like, they can't be that much. I know they wouldn't gonna be no more than one hundred and twenty five dollars from what I was seeing online, so yeah, I definitely recommend her store, so let's go ahead and shit that that happened so fast hell, what was my next thing to get? I guess I need to go and get my school supplies like notebooks, binders, type of thing. They haven't said what we will need yet, but I'm just going to get basic things. Pens, highlighters, notebooks. I'm just going to get probably two notebooks and... Well, I have three classes technically, but I don't think that last class is really going to be a... Like, it's really only AMP1. Terminolo with terminology and lab so I think that I'm gonna just get three notebooks just in case I was just gonna get two but I'm gonna get three notebooks and then a big binder for um AMP and then pens highlighters dividers type of thing that's all that I'm really gonna get I don't want to get too much and they say well you need this that and a third um so yeah and then we can, I know I have to go to Target because they have a special like $10 gift card for buying three different um, household type of needs like tissue and all of that. So I'm going to buy a big thing of tissue, big thing of paper towels. Yeah, so I'm going to take y'all with me to do all of that. Um, do I have my phone? Oh, okay. I'm trying to see what's on my list. So we got the shoes. Okay, yeah, that was the only thing. That's what I thought was going to take the longest. That's why I went ahead and did that first. Take that off the um, budget. Oh, I have to get scrubs. But I'm going to go home first before... Because I don't know why I didn't do this before I left. But I have looked for my bag of scrubs and I did not see them. So I don't, I think that I dumped them in a donation bin and I just don't remember. So I got to buy some Navy scrubs. I could have gotten them out of there, but I really did not want to like pay a lot for these scrubs. So I think I'm going to get everything else first and then we'll go backwards to getting scrubs and stuff. Because I like expensive scrubs. Like I like Grey's Anatomy scrubs for real just to be honest like I, I like expensive scrubs but I know I'm not gonna be able to wear these scrubs that much that's also another thing I want to find out what scrubs do CNAs wear, wear at my hospital because I really need to buy scrubs for that so yeah all right so here we are I wanted to get a pretty decent size binder I really kind of wanted something a little bit bigger than these, but it looks like that may be my only option here in Walmart. Oh, here, here's what I was really looking for. Something like this big. But I don't even have a white per se. Here's the three inch ring binders. But I feel like the two inch would be perfect. But I really didn't want white. That's so bright. Um, we'll go ahead and start off with the one inch. Seven dollars for a fucking minor. I know I got. That's like one and a half. Let's see, child, let me find the cheapest one, child. I have the dividers here. 
I don't feel like I want them to have some color, but like at the same token, I want them to be really kind of like basic. I don't know what is what. Because everything is kind of everywhere, but I think I should probably buy some single sleeve. Oh, this is gray right here. Or no, damn, am I fell over? This is white. <laughs> but four dollars for some fucking tabs, bro. Like that's just ridiculous. Okay, but these are color coded, so I'm gonna do these. Now we just need some notebooks. I really want just like the basic notebooks. I don't want the thick ones because we are only in class for five weeks. So I don't want to have a bunch of different notebooks. Here we go right here. We have anything but yellow. Okay, here's blue. So we can get a blue, a yellow. Um, I thought I was going to go ahead and get another planner. I did have that like Black Girl Magic planner, but it's like literally this small. It's like this small. It's one of the smaller ones, so I'm going to get a bigger one as well. But y'all, you don't believe this. Somebody just handed me this rose, and it's like, I just want you to know that you're special. It's like, oh, that's so cute. Let's really see. Okay, so I finally found the pans and highlighters. I went ahead and just got... The, some black ones, some colored ones, and then I also purchased two Sharpie highlighters. What's up, y'all? So we are back at home, and I found my bag of scrubs. I don't know if I complained about that to y'all, but I did find my bag of scrubs. But child, don't not one. Well, only one pair of scrubs fit, and it's not either of my navy blue scrubs. So the shirt as y'all can barely see barely fits i ain't got no bottom tone but like the shirt barely fits y'all um so i'm gonna just take this to class to with me tomorrow I mean, to orientation with me tomorrow and i'm gonna ask them is this the shade of blue navy blue that i need because it's indigo blue and it's navy blue this i had this from working at no Bond. i think this is the blue that they wear so I should be fine, but um, I just want to make sure before I go purchase some bottoms because I want to be able to use my bottoms. I'm probably going to get two pair of bottoms and I may get one top just for now as long as it's not too too um crazy and with price. But um, also, these are the scrunchy bands that I was talking about. Um, I think I might have showed them to y'all, but I don't think I showed them to y'all on the actual thing but this is what i was referring to it's like a scrunchy band for your apple watch i thought that was so cute even though now i can't even use my apple watch at school but i can use it when i go to work when i start working in office but i just wanted to give an overrun of what i just purchased i didn't bring y'all in with me at target because it was more so household items but i'm still going to show y'all that and just go over why i bought the um what i bought but anyway so I just got a pack of like, I think these are just like a Walmart type of cheaper brand of colored pens. I did end up putting back the black pens and I got these because these are my favorite, y'all. I love these pens. If you like a nice, smooth writing pen, baby, these are it. Then I also got a pack of Sharpie highlighters. I would advise for you to go to Walmart for those type of things because they do, um, they usually are cheaper. I bought three notebooks, just regular notebooks, as y'all saw. Um, these are the only colors they had in Walmart. So if you want other colors in these like single notebooks, then you need to go somewhere else. Well, I ain't gonna say that because your Walmart might be different than mine. But that's all they had in mind. And then I also purchased a planner another planner like i said i have a smaller one that i wanted to keep in my book bag but I, I think i'm gonna keep this one at home i don't know 
I don't know. I just needed more space. But I like the other um, one because it's like a budget thing in it. So I think I'm going to use that one for home and just use that for my like um, budgeting. And then I also ended up getting a two inch binder. I ended up just getting a two inch binder. I got my dividers, some colorful dividers. And then I just got some loose leaf notebook paper. Um, okay, so, okay, I guess I'll go into the shoes. So I showed y'all the shoes while I was in the store, but if you may have skipped over that part just to get to this part of like a kind of haul, um, I did end up purchasing the Cherokee Cherokee leather nursing shoes. I'm trying to see if they have like the, I got a size eight. I would suggest for you to go up a size. I'm a size seven and a half. Even the eight was kind of a little tight. Um, it, it's not extremely tight to where I can't like it hurts or anything like get out of there. Um, but it's so these are called Melody Melody White. So if you wanted to get them offline, I purchased these um, after taxes. It was about 74 and some change. So I'll say about $75. Um, yeah, the Cherokee Melody work woman or hold on workwear shoes these are really nice the soles in them y'all like even pressing down it's like a indentation that's popping back up like a memory foam it feels really really nice now of course i'm i haven't walked in them so i don't know so i'll definitely give y'all a um a overview but i really like these y'all they're they're cute and simple like you know they're not like those clunky like i was telling y'all the soles are not thick like clogs they're nice just like a sneaker just got the like nurse kind of like you know slide ins instead of instead of having to um strap them up lace them up and all that child I always wanted to get some of those, okay? For some reason, I always wanted to get some. But that is definitely a good purchase. So on to Target. Oh, and I got these from um in Charlotte, Randolph, off of Randolph, Sharon Road, or on Sharon Road, or Sharon Amity. Yeah, off that road, um, near Randolph Road. What was it called? Cindy, Cindy uniforms. Definitely purchased from her. She's really sweet, really quick. Get you in and out. She know people see like if y'all, um, if I, I don't know if I was recording in, but she's really like, she was like, she's been doing this for a long time. So she can look at your foot and know what size you need. But anyway, so Target, I bought a huge thing of pods. I normally do not use pods, but I decided to go ahead and just get pods so I can just throw them in um, instead of getting the liquid, which liquid probably would have been cheaper, child. But I was just like, let me just try these pods. My cousin, she actually uses these oxide or ox, oxide, oxy <laughs> pods. Um, so I was like, let me just use these. I got 85. Um, now, Target, right now, they're having a special where you buy three household items. Um, such as things like what I'm going to show you and then you get a $10 gift card. So on top of your 5% off, make sure y'all have the target card, the red card, not the credit card. This is a debit card linked to your debit account. Anyone can get one, but you always say 5%. So if you love target like me, baby, you need that 5% honey. Okay. Because y'all know that, that, that tab be running up. And then, like, if you say you need some groceries today, like, you you don't have the money, though, but you need groceries today, you can go use that Target card, and it's not going to come out of your account until the next day or maybe two days later, depending on what day you're, um, you do your purchase. For me, it'll probably come out tomorrow. But I'm just saying that's just a little advice, just in case, you know, we in school. Like, if you, you might not get paid today, but you hungry today. 
you might not get paid today, but you need some, you need something specific out of um, Target or Walmart type of stores, you know? So tampons, anything, yike. Just make sure y'all get y'all Target card. So that's my um pause. I, but anyway, so I also purchased a big thing of 24, 24 rolls of toilet tissue. Um, and then I also purchased eight huge rolls of um bouncy paper towels so this will get me at least the first five weeks it's definitely gonna get me longer than that but i'm just saying if i split it up by term it'll get me at least through the first five weeks but it should get me through at least three months to be honest like especially the tissue the toilet tissue is well yeah the toilet tissue should get me through the first and i still have a couple rows of um left from my last one so i just wanted to try to stock up on my toiletries i also bought some tampons but i need to go to sam's to buy a big thing of tampons but i did buy some tampons just for my upcoming cycle um next month so that i don't have to worry about that i say if you're going to school no matter what you're going to school for stock up on your toiletries seriously because that's one less thing you got to worry about you know you're gonna have some toilet tissue you know you'll have some paper towels and you know you'll have some detergent those are your main things that you need and damn i forgot um dish liquid because i really need dish liquid like now but um yeah so just stock up on those things so you don't have to worry about that while you're in school that'll be the least of your worries all you have to do is worry about grocery items and that's it just stock up on all of your toiletries that's you know um my when I worked as a medical assistant my nurse practitioner she was saying like when I wanted to go to nursing school before she was just like stock up on all of that stuff like start buying it and stocking up on it now this is not really the stockpile she was talking about she was talking about trying to stock up for like that whole time that I was in school now I I wasn't able to do that but I will be able to do this every few months like just buying a big thing of things every few months just save that little money put ten dollars aside every check or something so that when the time comes and you need some more toiletries you can go ahead and um just purchase that this stuff only costs i also got some a couple other things from target but in total this stuff only costs 86 dollars, and i got the 10 dollar gift card so in reality i only spent 75 dollars, and i got asher some um little sausage things that he liked that is like eight dollars and then I got some cleaning, um, all purpose cleaning spray, which was like $3. So yeah, I really only spent about 65 maybe dollars on all of this. So just stock up y'all just stock up. But yeah, so I'll bring y'all with me to my orientation tomorrow. Of course, I'm not going to be able to record, but I'm going to bring y'all along and then, um, we just gonna go scrub shopping and that'll probably be all for this vlog probably yeah because i know it's long as hell because i've been talking hey y'all so i'm back just wanted to show y'all also that i got a book bag um i got this book bag off of amazon i'll link it below i believe it was like 30 something dollars 35 40 dollars or something like that this book bag y'all <sighs> I love it and I ain't even started wearing it so it has so many different compartments it of course has your first compartment here where it's just like where you normally put your little small things your um, pencils pens type of things maybe or maybe your money or whatever you have in there just that little small compartment then you have another smaller compartment that has some pockets where you could put your pins in a zipper pocket you can put pins and highlighters and stuff in but it's a pretty deep pocket it's not like those little small pockets that's normally at the front um and then you also have the next compartment which is like your main compartment that you generally have in a book bag and it has that little stretch pocket right here and then it also has an extra zipper pocket that you would normally see where someone keeps their pens in and stuff like that so then that is not all 
you have another main compartment where this opens the whole book bag, the whole back part. It's like another bigger compartment where you can put books or whatever. You can also, um, it has another zipper pocket. You also have where you can put your laptop, maybe your tablet, a smaller one, and then you also have some more smaller little mesh pockets right here for ink pens, things of that nature. And then you also have capability of hooking this up to your um, computer. And then you can charge, put your charger right here on this little spot right here and charge your phone outside of your book bag. It's the perfect type of travel book bag. It's also a really great um, regular just school book bag. But I just, I just think that it's so cool. It has so many different compartments to it. Like I've never had a book bag with this many sections to it. And I love the material. Um, but let me not forget this one pocket on the back. So we do have a pocket on the back. I don't know this. It's so many zippers. But it's a compartment right here. If you want to hide something in here or something. It's like a little. It's like a good bit of space. Like for all of this right here. But if you want to maybe put your wallet back there, whatever. I, I don't tend to like take stuff like that inside inside of a school. But um, if this was a travel book bag, you do have that back there. Um, also, you have your water bottle or any type of bottle pockets on the side like normal book bags. Um, and then if you wanted to put this on the back of your, like your, on the top of your suitcase, you could put it on those the handle i really love this book bag y'all i love the color it's like a plush pink color which is my favorite color but um i got it off of amazon it's called or the brand is bag mark bag mart bags mart damn get it together but bags mart so you can get it off of there but I really love this book bag, y'all. Really, really do. We're going to actually, I'm going to try to put my laptop in it because I'm about to show y'all what they gave us. Uh, look at this big ass laptop. If I compare this to like my MacBook, y'all, y'all see how wide this thing is? We about to see if it fits in this book bag. Because I was just like, if this is something that they want us to be taking a class. Let's see, y'all. It actually fits. I'm really shocked. But it actually fits. That's how big this book bag is, I guess. It fits completely. Get you one. Hey, my people. So, uh, today is Friday. What, the 20th? I'm currently on my way to orientation. It's about 7.36. And, um, yeah, I'm on my way to my school orientation. The other one was the nursing program orientation, but this is the school orientation. This shit is actually pretty long. I didn't even realize how long it was until I started counting the fucking hours. I'm like 8 to 12. Damn, that's a long ass orientation. What y'all got to tell us that's that damn important? Even the the um nursing program orientation, it wasn't short. I mean, like it wasn't like it ended up running over, but like it wasn't four hours. Like it was like three, two and some change. Like the original times were from one to three, so it's supposed to only be two hours, but it ran over a little bit because we were getting our laptops and I guess they were trying to get them set up for us as well. But yeah. Ciao. This shit right here. I'm like, what is we about to be doing this whole time? Like, seriously, what is we about to be doing? But yeah. So, of course, y'all already know I cannot record in there. So, I will give y'all an update when I come back in the car okay because this little camera it ain't that heavy but baby it make my little purse a little bit more heavier
and it was about to weigh me down the other day so and you know since i have this in my bag i don't want to like set it down other than that i really don't have nothing else val valuable in my fucking purse except for my debit card which i can cancel at any time but i will catch y'all once i'm done what's up y'all so i'm at dd's Dee and i came to get some scrubs oh this is cute So their scrubs are about, they're about $7.99 a piece type. This is cute. This one's $8.99. Probably get this one. So I'm just looking for, honestly, like, I might go ahead and get this one because I have a pair of black bottoms. This is easier than I thought it was gonna be, y'all. Oh, that's an extra small. Picture. But yeah, here's an affordable place for you to get scrubs. This is cute. And I didn't think that they were gonna be this good of quality, but I'll do a little try on haul for y'all as well. So let me just grab these things because I have to go to the bathroom chat. Alright y'all, so since I was going to end up having just trial on the gym, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just show y'all them now. So these fit perfect. This is a size large bottoms. I no longer can fit in a small or medium child. You should have shot me trying on my dog on scrubs that I had from working before my surgery. But I couldn't get them, some of them couldn't get them up past here. Other ones, I couldn't get them up past here and I have not had anything done to my thighs, so I know I'm getting big. But, it is a shade off. It's a shade off, but it could be okay. I like this though. Top is $8.99, the bottom is $7.99. Alright, so this is our black top. I love these that cross over right here. I don't know why, but they are my favorite type. I had a gray one, but a boots is like compressed, compressed. I couldn't do it. But um, this one fits perfect. I have black bottoms at home. I have one pair out of all of my pairs of scrubs and one pair of my bottoms fit. But these bottoms are really nice and comfortable, but they don't fit me, so... It's like the waistband is loose. I don't know if somebody tried them on and stretched the band out, but yeah, it's too loose. So I'm going to see if I can find these in a smaller size, but this is good for the tall girls because I definitely would be dragging these on the floor. But I'm going to get them if I can find a size medium, but they, they are big, so. All right, y'all. So I wanted to kind of give y'all a little brief update since um i went to orientation um yeah so today like we got our official schedules or whatever and it was a form on there where it told us whether our credits what credits transferred what you know or whatever so i don't have like they didn't have anything next to me for any transfer credits now when I first came to the school to um, take my T's exam, I asked her and she went and ran to talk to um, the person who does the transfer credits. And she said that only transfers could be only transfers that can be made is for my English and my psychology. Today, I went and personally talked to her and she's talking about, oh, well, your school isn't we don't accept credits from your school that i previously went to y'all that pissed get out of here y'all that pissed me off so bad like but i was just like you know what i'm not gonna let it stress me out or anything you know what's meant for me will be and if it's meant for me to retake these t these um two classes then that's fine honestly i really didn't care to retake about retaking um, psychology, it's the English that I do not want to take. I know that at some point I'm still going to have to write papers or whatever, but 
I did not want to have to fucking retake English and know that I definitely am going to have a five or ten page paper. Um, and I think and when I was in school before I had an eight page paper that I had to write. And these courses are only five weeks, so I don't know. I'm assuming that it probably won't be eight or ten pages that I'll have to write. I'm assuming that I might only have to write like a five page paper or something on those lines or whatever. But yeah, that's the update on that. Um, I definitely highly recommend um, if you have a DDs in your area or a Ross. I hate this lighting in here. A DDs or a Ross that you go there for any scrub needs um whether it's for school or for work scrubs are very very inexpensive which i showed y'all so but um yeah but anyway so that is pretty much all that i wanted to update y'all on that um i'm still excited about going back to school and becoming a nurse. Mm, 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 mm. Eating some leftover tacos from yesterday that I made. I love making my tacos, like grilling them on a griddle, um, a George Foreman grill, whatever. Like I like to grill them. It just makes them taste so much better. But. In total. I got. Three scrub tops. Two pants. And one t-shirt. One long sleeve gray shirt. I know I can't wear that gray shirt in school. But I love having long sleeve shirts. I have a white one and black one and those are the only colors that I can wear in school so I'm good on those but um I got a gray one for like work but yeah I actually found a navy blue one and a black one in my scrub bag um I'm gonna take the scrubs that I cannot fit I'm gonna take those over to um a donation bin I think I was just saying how much I paid. I don't know if I just said how much I paid for my scrubs. I only paid forty dollars in total for all of that. Forty one dollars in total for all of that. You go to a regular scrub shop. Off jump your pan. Forty dollars for one piece. Thirty five ish for a piece. like scrubbing me on bigger name brand scrub stores and some local like the one that i went to yesterday nine times out of ten i was gonna have to pay that with them i thought i was gonna have to return my shoes because in that packet stop doing that in that packet that they gave us today it says that we can't wear clogs and i felt like the shoes that i had are like clog like but I talked to someone else. She said, no, they're not. I showed her a picture of them. She said, no, those are good. Her says, shoes must have laces. And we were all like, what the hell? But she was like, it's all good. So, yeah. So, I'm ready for school, you guys. So... That's probably going to be all for this video. Just wanted to give y'all that update. Um, I've bought everything with y'all that I'm going to buy. So I'm not going to do a separate supply haul or anything like that. Um, I don't. If you are going to nursing school. If you're going to school in general. Buy basics. Do not go and buy all of these textbooks. Like I see people on YouTube with NCLEX books. NCLEX books. What do you need that NCLEX book for? And you don't graduate for another year and a half, two years? What are you getting that for? I don't know who that is. 
don't be going to buy all that. Because, yeah, first classes aren't even going to be nursing classes. Like, for us, our nursing classes don't start until semester two. So, we have, like, all of our core classes now. Now, for people that's going to... People that's going to, like, um community college and getting into the nursing program. Now, y'all are probably going ahead and, um, I mean, I still don't feel like you need those books. Yep. But y'all will have y'all core classes already done. But, yeah. Um, it's not so good, folks. Grill your tacos. Don't put them bitches in the oven. Grill them shits. I promise you, it will taste much better. But anyway, I will hit, I, I keep saying I'll hit y'all later. I will talk to y'all in the next video, okay? And that'll be my first week of nursing school. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. Bye.